Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. I am Becky, long time no see. <laughs> I hope you guys have been able to find some time to scrapbook during that holiday season that is behind us now. <laughs> um, so yeah, let's get busy. I'm going to start with these three photos. These are photos of my great niece and nephew, Adele and Aurelius. They're three different Christmas photos from three different years. I always loved pages like that, that are kind of like a comparison with um, years past photos. I always think those are super cool. So that's what I'm going to be using on um, this layout. This is a layout I made when I went to Kathy's house this last time and also to see my mom as well. But when I go to my mom's, I usually stop at Kathy's first and then we have a little several day scrapbook session. It's pretty awesome. This time I got done, I think maybe eight pages, ten pages, something like that. So I will have some videos, more videos coming up for y'all. I do believe this collection is called Home for the Holidays. If we still have it available in the shop, which is um, at close to my heart, BeckyBidding.CloseToMyHeart.com. If we still have it in the shop, I will have it linked down below. You can see right there, I have some other pieces out that are from previous collections as well. I believe that one that's kind of that khaki color, that toffee color with the bear. I think that was a Valentine's Day or maybe a man's collection from years past. Yeah, I just have a little bit of everything in this one. The whole time I was gone and scrapbooked with Kathy, I only scrapbooked Christmas, if you can believe that. <laughs> so you can see right here, I was going to start out this layout or um, do the design of this layout just a, three row, just a row across of all three photos, three by four photos about these i i think these are about three by four might be a little bit bigger um anyways i was just going to do them across in a horizontal line right here but i am going to change my mind on that here i pull out a die this is a die it's kind of cut it's got a um envelope and also just a little rectangular piece that goes into the envelope i believe that's a coco and reno die I did pull that out thinking that I was going to use it. I don't end up using it though. Here I'm going to go ahead and trim some black cardstock down. I'm going to use this to back my photos in. When I back my photos on the black, I end up roughing up the edges of the black cardstock. And the reason that I did that was because um, my borders were really wonky. Look how I'm putting this down. I don't know if you can really tell on this one or not but some of the edges were really way too thin so I end up roughing them up so you can't really even tell <laughs> you can't tell that um, they're so wonky if you have something a little bit crooked that's a good way to kind of try to disguise it a little bit is by roughing up the edges I do love this zip strip right here it is going to make um, an appearance on this layout and that cute so cute I also really like that plaid as well it's nice this is my original idea was to just have them three in a row right down there at the bottom maybe make a scene up at the top or something I don't end up going that route and I don't end up using the black I mean I end up using the black as a border around the whole page but I don't end up using that whole big piece of black down at the bottom I am still going to use some of it though as a border I thought that zip strip would be good because it is Christmas presents and as you can see all these photos the kids are by the Christmas tree. We're going to go ahead and get rid of that idea. The tones are just, I don't know, I, I liked the black, the black zip strip way better for this with these photos. So here's why I go ahead and change my mind on this. I'm just going to arrange the photos kind of in a wonky way. I'm just going to keep moving those around until I find it. Um in a position that I like. Did you see the back of that green paper? It's um kind of scripty, really cute. And this one right here, that wood grain, can you believe I went for plaid? <laughs> I know that plaid's nice though. I do love that wood grain too. I needed like 10 pieces of this, yet I just have the two. I'm going to trim just a little bit off of two. I think I trim... An eighth of an inch off or a quarter inch off two sides, but it goes, it ends up being an eighth of an inch all the way around. So we'll just have a little bit of that black poking out. 
So how is everybody's new year so far? It is currently January 7th. It's probably about, let me see, 4.45 a.m. I know I am up and at it early, right? Um, I do have, like I said, I have several videos I want to voice over for y'all. I'm hoping this year, I'm hoping <laughs> that, no, I'm not hoping. Let's just be totally positive about it. This year is going to, things are going to turn around, right? <laughs> How was y'all's new year? Tell me what you what you guys did. I started a tradition a couple of years ago that on New Year's Eve, that's when we do um, presents with the grandkids instead of, you know, seeing who gets to see them or whatever. You know, they have a lot of family. Let's just say that. The kids have a lot of family. So, yeah, I went ahead and booked New Year's Eve, which is perfect because sometimes the parents like to go out on New Year's Eve. I have the kids, so, you know, they can do that if they want. <laughs> um, they do have to come for Christmas, too, though, just the present part. Here, I'm going to pop up this photo that's going to go over on the right side. I'm going to pop that up on some foam tape. Super cute. It is so fun to see how they grow in these photos. It is so neat. Love, love, love this. This is going to be my title piece. It is a sticker off the sticker sheet. It says, the joy of Christmas is family. I'm going to go ahead and pop just the top part of this on foam tape. The very bottom of the sticker um, is going to be a little bit tucked under that photo right there. I'm going to tuck it down to where, there you go. It's like that black is kind of like a line underneath the is family word. Now you can see I have this um, space over to the right hand side of the photo and underneath the Christmas right there. Guys, I left some trap space there. I did. I don't usually do it, but in this instant instance, I kind of like how it ended up looking. So I left it. Tell me what you think. I'll point it out here in a little bit. So that flag that I put over on top of the photo says happy holidays. Really like that one. And here I'm shopping around a wreath. This is out of one of the pattern papers. I went ahead and fussy cut it out. That Christmas tree. Hmm, that's also fussy cut out of um, one of the papers as well. And I also fussy cut out these teeny tiny little bows. I think they were on a zip strip. Super cute. I'm going to put these little bows down around the page. You'll see them here in a sec. That little envelope. See, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and use that. I loved this. I thought that looked cute. But see how there's that red spot above it? So it's got all that trap space above it. It's not really bothering as me as much as um, I would have thought it would. <laughs> right? Uh, you'll see it here in a minute. You tell me what you think about having that trap space right there. I don't usually do that, like I said. But this time, I don't know. I was feeling wild. I'm going to go ahead and use this wreath up here at the top. I'll find a layering piece to stick underneath it. There's that flag or kind of like a banner shape or a flag, whatever. Sticking out the side of the photo, that's the one that says Happy Holidays on it. Now, I don't like that banner showing down there on that sticker. So when I put it down, I'm going to go ahead and flip that. And we're going to hide the red. I promise. I'm going to come back and flip that. <laughs> I'm trying to build a cluster down there at the bottom. And I am going to build one. And that is why that, um, see how that has that red banner type piece down the bottom? It doesn't really work with um, the layering, all the layering I did on top of it. And that's why I'm going to go ahead and flip it. But I do flip it. Here we go. We'll just hide those right under there. I'm going to stick this little layering piece down. It's a little tab. And then we'll go ahead and put this cute little red heart down it on, on it as well. Super cute. I 
All right, what else are we going to do to this? I am going to get those little tiny bows out. I'm shopping around some words. None of them are going to make it. But I, I try to get more on this layout. Um, yeah, it didn't work super, super good. <laughs> but I do shop around several things, keep trying to make it work. That's the piece I end up using as a layering piece underneath that um, wreath. You know, when I was sitting here looking at it before I just stuck that under there, it really didn't look bad um, without the piece under it. Here, I'm trying to fill in that trapped space. I'm like, well, you know, I, I really do like it though. So I end up taking it, taking that word away and we're not going to do anything there. Here's where I find a little sticker bow. And that, that got me thinking, oh, I saw these cute little bows. So you can see right there. There's some fussy cut right there. All right, guys, thanks so much for joining me. Please check the links down below, beckybidding.closemyheart.com. And I will see you next time. Bye guys.